Good morning, my name is Andrew Miner. I'm the uh, current president of the Bradenton Kiwanis Club. We are so excited to be here today to commemorate uh, this park uh, and how this came together with the great plaque that we'll be able to put out front that we're gonna be unveiling later. Um, so at this time, I'd like to call up our mayor to make a few remarks. Thank you, Andy. And. Um, Kind of going to just introduce a couple people. We've got Councilwoman, Councilman Kramer, who is Ward 3 for this area. And, and then Vice Mayor Coker, who's here, very active in the Kiwanis Club and kind of organizing this. So um, one of the things that I look back on this, and it, it doesn't have anything to do with being mayor today, but it has to do a lot with an eight-year-old boy that walked into a boys club that was basically started because of this trailer park in the Kiwanis. Because almost 75 plus more years ago, the Boys Club started right there on 9th Street because of the Kiwanis money that came from this trailer park. And that little boy was me, which was very shy, very nervous. There was some uh, family dynamics that had gone on. My mom had divorced my biological father, married my dad now, which is the only dad I've ever known. but was lost at that time and walked into that boys club and you know you look back and you say okay did it save my life or did it what did it do but it changed my life and you know people start to forget what how things started and how they went and you know it's very important when we look back on those to celebrate those moments and the moments that we're celebrating today is a plaque to say kind of the history and if we don't remember history we're going to repeat the bad parts of it we want to remember history as the good things, and it's very important to keep that going. So I'm fortunate enough to be the mayor. My family in Manatee County with my grandchildren is seventh generation. Uh, so, you know, three generations of Cortez fishermen that started in the 1800s on my dad's side. And my dad realized in the 60s the fishing wasn't what he wanted to do. He went into Vietnam, got out because of some injuries, and then started our family funeral home. And I've served that for 35 years, and, and I tell people a lot that, you know, some of the things we deal with, the little issues in the city, your garbage, some other things that, that are very important are never as important when something like that happens when you're dealing in the other. So I'm just honored to be the mayor, honored to be part of Kiwanis. You know, there's great people in Kiwanis all over the room here, and, uh, you know, we can do it. We've got a great city council. We are growing. And, you know, all the, the streets that were coming down, you know, you talk about a lot of the things. This council is doing a great job at what's next and how do we clean up, how do we do properties, and a lot of things that, you know, take time. But we're just proud to be here today as part of you, as part of the city, and as part of Kiwanis. So we hope that, uh, you know, we're all celebrating another milestone in 100 years, but um, the city is in a, in a good place, and Kiwanis obviously has a history of just unbelievable. With and, a, and there's some books up there I know the judge has, and, and I've read the whole book. I learned a lot, so it was a, it's a great first series that you think you know stuff, but when you look at the history, and it means different things at different times. But thank you for having us. Thank you for allowing that plaque to go there to symbolize, you know, really the history of this property. And thank you to Kiwanis members. And thank you especially to those forefathers of our Kiwanis that what they have did for our, our city, our whole Manatee County. So appreciate it and thanks for having us.
All right. And speaking of history, uh, like you said, uh, Judge Smith is here and he has, our historian, has developed the uh, entire history of our club for the last hundred years. And a big part of that happened in 1936. So allow us to take you back there for a moment and have Judge Smith with his comments. Good morning, everyone. Um, the rich history of the Bradenton Tropical Palms Mobile Home Park starts in the 1920s by a, name, by a man by the name of Professor Joseph Yarn. He purchased this property to develop during that time, but unfortunately, because of the economy, he lost the property a few years later because he didn't pay taxes to the city. <laughs> Many years later, in 1935 and 36, during the Great Depression, the Bradenton Chamber of Commerce came up with an idea to solve a number of issues in Manatee County, including attracting tourists to visit and stay in Manatee County, and discouraging people from camping on empty lots throughout the county owned by other people. After the city of Bradenton declined the offer to build a trailer camp because of economic reasons, the Kiwanis Club of Bradenton accepted the challenge. Led by B Dan Blaylock Sr. and Robert M. Bell, with a little help from a silent movie star, you're probably wondering about that, <laughs> the city of Bradenton approved Kiwanis' plan and, got, and the work got started. On October 21st, 1936, the city of Bradenton approved the permits for the camp and the camp was open for trailer camp. And on November 1st, over 3,000 people showed up for the official opening. Many of the people arrived with their trailers to stay and live at the camp. The building of the camp was one of the biggest events in the history of the city of Bradenton. For the next 61 years, Bradenton Kiwanis operated the camp, which became the Bradenton Trailer Park, and at one time became the largest trailer park in the world. Bradenton Kiwanis used the net profits from the park to improve the lives of children and adults in Manatee County. The park was one of Bradenton Kiwanis' most important assets and the residents of this park were important to its members. For many years, the members of Brandon Kiwanis socialized with the residents of the park and held events together. Now, as late as 1980s, the Brandon Kiwanis Club members and the Manatee High Key Club members were helping to arrange concerts at the park for its residents. And there's many, many stories that go along with that. So I want to congratulate uh, Bradenton Kiwanis and the Bradenton Tropical Palms Mobile Home Park on recognizing and preserving the history of this park. Thank you very much. To carry on the legacy, the Bradenton Kiwanis Club continues to take the money that was purchased through the co-op that we give away every year, that we are now able to support uh, several organizations. Um, and to date, we've given away millions of dollars into the community and on average around $400,000 a year towards projects that help with our, the children of Manatee County. So we'd love for anyone that's want to be involved in Kiwanis. We're always accepting new members. Uh, so we'd love to have you part of our, we meet at lunch at the Manatee Performing Center, Art Center, every Tuesday from 12.15 to 1.15. We try to bring in very interesting speakers and try to address topics and issues that continue to uh, affect the children of Manatee County. Um, so I believe at this time, uh, we're gonna head outside uh, so we can get a picture and have an unveiling of the plaque.
thank you so much for everyone showing up today at, for this commemoration come, and having our picture outside. Uh, to close out our program today, I'd like to call Ruth Ann up from the uh, Braided Tropical Palms as their historian to talk about uh, some of her history since uh, we've, we've uh, sold the co-op. Yeah, my, my name is Ruth Ann Rood, and I am a second generation, whereas the mayor said he was seven generations, um, I'm second. And there are several, um, many people here in the park who um, that's the case. Um, my mother moved here in 1992, but we have an honored guest, Mary Ann Buckholtz, and she has lived in the park since 1990. And so currently she's the only resident here who lived here when the Kiwanis was the landlord. And she was one of, she was one of the original shareholders. So as a co-op, of course, um, we are resident owned. And so when the Kiwanis in 1996, it was quite a shock to the residents, um, found out that they were going to sell the park. Um, then we had a very active homeowners association that had worked with the Kiwanis over the years and that homeowners primarily provided social activities. But they were instrumental in um, promoting and getting the residents, because according to Florida law, if you are if you own a mobile home park and you put it up for sale, the first right of refusal goes to the residents. But it ended up the park, the Kiwanis was asking $8.8 .8 million. And in 1996, that was a formidable sum. And you have to have 50% of your homeowners had to purchase a share. And through the um, workings of the um, corporation, the homeowners, um, they got residents and come, they gave us until um, January 1 to come up with the money. Now they had the money because of the number of shares they sold, they could do a down payment. They had found a, a bank to finance it. The question was, did they have enough shares? And the answer was no. Here we are, December 21st, we have nine days more, and we don't have enough until Westminster Manor. Westminster Manor came in, and on December 22nd, they purchased the remaining shares that were needed so that the purchase could go through. So we were very honored with that, and they have been a very active part um, partnership with um, our corporation. And the official sale happened on January 25th of, or 24th of 1997. But we are very um, blessed and honored to have such a beautiful park. And if it wasn't for the Kiwanis, um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be here today. So uh, I welcome everybody. I'm glad we have some residents from the park and, of course, our city leaders and members of the Kiwanis. So I'd like to thank you all for coming. Thanks so much, Ruth Ann. Um, with that, our program is closed. Please enjoy the cake and the, and the coffee. And uh, thanks so much for everybody being here today. Thank you very much.